we going in like this. She might kick me out the store. But we just gonna go in. We just gonna be in faith. All right, guys, exciting news today it will be the day, the first day drop in this jewelry. Uh, so make sure to go purchase it. I only have very limited inventory. By the time probably you click on it, it's probably sold out. So just make sure you get your own. If you end up not getting it, what I would do is I will make a poll today to see if anybody else would like to get it so that I know uh, how much to ship to my place. So I get it from a place and then I bag it in my own bagging and I put some bonus stuff inside it to ship it. So for the first few customers, of course, you guys are gonna be getting the best of the best because this is my first time dropping it, so I put a lot more to it. So make sure you guys ch check that out and also watch this whole video because this whole video is a banger. It's a, a lot of knowledge and information in this video. Thank you guys, love y'all. 30 minutes to get to the next destination. That's where the retwist gonna be at, man. She might get disappointed, man. I haven't been taking care of her washing my dress for a while. I don't know if she does washing dress or whatever, but I know that that's gonna be a whole banger video. But welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe, and today is a new day. Come on now, get hype. Because this video about to be hype. Get hype. Everybody that's about to be on there, when the intro about to come out, I want y'all to get up off y'all feet, off y'all bed. I don't care if you're at school watching my videos, you better get up and jump and say, intro, alright? So, before we get into the video, here it is, intro! Intro! Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Activers. Make sure the AC's off. Got the last video here, just right back to back. So let me turn off this light. Boom, boom. Sure, I got my tripod. And usually, locticians don't allow people to film. So, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to film. I was talking to her, I was telling her like, dang, you live far, man. And she said, yeah, I, I may go to a central area. Of Phoenix so that it could be close to everybody so for those of y'all that you know what I'm saying that live in Phoenix I'm gonna I'm be showing you guys the process first and you guys can judge off of what she did and you guys can say I want to go to her Hopefully she got good lighting. I might text her and see if she has a good lighting One of the things I'm trying to get better at is respecting people's timing and uh, appointments if I set up one appointment, I think I should be there at the appointment appointed time, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be late. Uh, I should be a little early, actually. Not show up early, but be there early so that, uh, you know, just in case of traffic or anything like that pops up. So, you know, I'm trying to master that. I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to get y'all better at that, too, man. Because y'all don't be watching my videos on time, and I upload at 2 p.m. every uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So that's three times. Three upload a week, man. Come on, man. Y'all favorite YouTubers don't even do that. up to this creek that's the place right there I'm gonna be leaving her description on down below so we going in like this she might kick me out the store but we just gonna go in we just gonna be in faith we just gonna be like I'm here to do my hair done activeverse I hit you up on Instagram so this is my first time ever like I said meeting her in person should I go in there and do the intro in front of her I don't know how many people there is in there, right? So I'd be like, welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe! Everybody, come on, y'all gonna say intro! Should I do that? I might be an extra. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. You tell me if I'm being extra. That's a little cool area too. Palm trees, the sun is nice, about what, 50 today? Well, if it drops down anything below 100, usually we call it 50 in Arizona. Let me see if I got her name accurate, because I don't want to say something that I... I don't want to mess up her name or her, how you say it. Oh, that's cool. They have like their own spots here. I've never been to a place like this, but this is cool. 
looking for Tambra. Yeah, I'm looking for Tambra. Down the hall, make okay. a left. Down the hall, make a left. Yeah, How are you like saying? this hall right here. She probably saw this mess and she was like, yeah, you looking for Tambra. <laughs> for somebody to just look at me and know that I need some healing on my hair. You went too far. Oh, went too far? Oh, okay. Hello. How you doing? I forgot my mask. Let me go grab my mask, okay? Oh, you got extras? Okay. For sure. I'm going to be waiting out here. Right, I'm out here at the place. She's doing somebody's uh, dreads right now. Oh, damn. Yeah. My hair long, it grows so long fast. I'm African, that's why. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we're here at the salon, and this is Tambra, right? Mm -hmm. Is it Tambra or Tambra? Tambra. Okay, this is Tambra right here, and she's, uh, you can come with the oh. video. Uh, she is located in Mesa, and I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description for everything that she's going to be doing for me, basically. But it's She's Locked in Love on Instagram, then my business page is Locked in Love LLC on Facebook. Do you usually do appointments? How do you do appointments over? On Square. Um, they can go through me through Facebook and then um, I send my booking app on Square. Gotcha. So if you guys are indeed local, uh, which is like Arizona, Mesa, Chandler, Gilbert, Glendale, Surprise, like any, anywhere local around there, you guys can hit her up because literally when I ask for a help uh, to get my hair retwisted, like five, six people commented her name and I'm like, wow, she must be popular. So. I came to her. <laughs> what you say? I said I am. <laughs> yeah, she got to be popular, but I'm I'm not native here, so this is my first time ever doing a retwist. So I hope you guys enjoy this whole video because it's gonna be a whole banger. Cause I, you seen this? I see all this yeah. new growth. You know what I did? Uh, you know how dudes usually get a hairline right here, mm -hmm. so they start trimming down hair and like it keeps going up and up, like the yeah, hair. Yeah, they'll do that. And they'll push into your exactly. locks. Exactly, that's what happened. And then I grew this out for like four months, literally, so that I can connect it to my locks. Yeah, that's what my husband, his first barber was pushing into it. So now he has about all this the way up here. Much. Exactly. See, that's what I'm trying to tell him. Like, don't do this. Like, I'm going to make a whole video about not to do that. My thing is, um, always get your hair retwisted before you go to a barber so that they don't cut into your new growth. That's, that's actually a pretty good advice because they cut right here, too. So all this right here, like, yeah, get a retwist first. So all of this is already caught and uh -huh. then they cut into it. So, yeah, that just kept on going in my hair. So I, I stopped doing uh, barbers and I started cutting my own hair also and then I avoided like a lot of these mess ups. So she's gonna do a miracle. I seen her Instagram. Her Instagram got like a thousand pictures. Like that's crazy. Like a thousand pictures. I'm, I'm guessing that's all your clients. Yeah, all my clients. <laughs> that, that's crazy. So you do for, you did for his too, you took a picture? Yeah, I do before and afters on everybody. So I'll get yours as well. Go ahead, do your thing. It's about to be a whole transformation, man. I'm loving the blue though. You like the blue? Mm -hmm. My wife did it. That's what I'm gonna do mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, squash your hair. All right. All right. And do you know what style you're doing? Uh, I guess I gotta go through your pictures again. <laughs> what do you usually recommend for? Um, well, you have the high top. You can do either some two string. We can do some barrel rolls. French phrase, it's up to you. Barrel sounds good. All right, you do that. Your blue came out real blue. Real blue. Like, a, what do you mean? Like, it like came out? no, no, no. Like, um, the color, like, it's really uh, like a oh, vibrant blue. I see what you mean. Yeah. Right, sorry about the separating of your hair. You're good. I know <laughs> I haven't retwisted in a while. One time it was really terrible. Actually, the first time I really got a good retwist, mm -hmm. it was bad too. Cause I do separate my hair and I do dry retwist, but I don't put like gel or anything in my hair. Cause I'm just like, I feel like later on it will be a buildup. So I'm like, I'm gonna just go to a professional person and ask them what they use. Mm -hmm. So that I can do that to my dreads. That's why I don't use a lot of product. If I do use it, it has to be something that's clear or yellow so that you don't have that okay. gooky buildup list. Yeah. Stuff going on. Like you talking about like a wax, like a um, what's it called? Let me see. Jamaican. This is what I use. Oh no, I do not use Jamaican products. This is what I use because it's clear oh, okay. and then it doesn't do anything. Gotcha. And it don't make it hard. There's no flaking. Mm -hmm. It's just really there to make it look nice and neat. Gotcha. And is that your products up there that I see? Yep. So so far that's what I have left. And you sell them on a. Uh, what is that website called? Etsy. Etsy? Okay. Mm -hmm. You saw them on there, right? Yep. I think I saw it. 
I'll be on Wish soon. I just have to wait for the approval. What? Yeah. They Wish has started being like Amazon, basically. Yeah, I'm trying to be an Amazon seller too, but it's a monthly subscription. Okay. Yeah. For how much they ask per month? Uh, I believe it's thirty-five. Okay. I just recently saw it, so I was like, let me go check into it. But right now, yeah, with me leaving out of town, I'm like, I don't have the time to set up anything. Gotcha. How long you been doing uh, electrician? I started four years ago, but it consistently I've been doing it for the last two years. Okay. And you started when you got your dress or when your husband got a dress or something? When my husband did. His aunt started his hair and then okay. I had to maintain it because she, she doesn't really do locks like that. But for her nephew, she started them. Mm -hmm. And so I had to learn and <laughs> <laughs> I went through all types of products trying to figure out how this stuff worked because I didn't know anything and nobody okay. around us has locks. Okay. So he was the first one and then my son decided... Um, he wanted locks, so mm -hmm. we let him do it. But at this time, my son had a mohawk, so I started his hair. With a mohawk? Mm-hmm. Oh. Started his dreads with his mohawk. And he had them for about a year, and then my son decided he no longer wanted the locks anymore. He wanted to cut his hair. Gotcha. So his dad combed them out. It took about two days. He combed them out, and then after that, like a year later, mm -hmm. he was like, can I have them again? <laughs> and so now me and him are both two years in, but now he just has a high top. Okay, you, you cut the back off? Mm-hmm. Okay. And he, then your, your husband had it for how long? He's had his for four years, and he has a, a mohawk. Oh, my he has his on mohawk. Mm-hmm. My daughter is the only one with a full head of locks. Oh. I have an undercut, my son has a high top, and mm -hmm. then my husband has a mohawk. Gotcha. I didn't know he, I didn't notice he had an undercut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to, I used to want it with a mohawk, too. That's what I, like, Swayze. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like 2016 when he was like, I'm going to watch like that. And I started growing out my fro. Uh, it was a mohawk, actually. And then later on, I ended up just not finding nobody to lock my hair. So I'm like, ah, I'm going to just end up cutting it. So I did that. And then I moved out here to Arizona 2016. And my buddy had a YouTube channel. He was around the, he was around the same subscription amount that I have right now when mm -hmm. I moved out here met him. And he kind of inspired me to start my channel and also my dreads. Because I always want to dress, so. Did you start your hair on your own? No, he actually locked them up for me. That is dope. Yeah, yeah, he did it last, like, like I said, last year, the end of, the end of 2018. So, like, December or something, 2018, and so. Are you the only person in your family with locks? No, I have a big brother that has locks also. Hmm. Him and, actually, him and uh, the friend that I'm talking about used to be, like, best friends. Okay. And so they, used, they had the channel together, too. But my brother gave up later on. Not gave up, but like kind of quit around it. Like this is too much work to do videos and you know do life. Oh, the YouTubing? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the part I gotta get with the whole editing and. Yeah, it's, it's kind of <laughs> that's that's really kind of tough at first, but if you really stay consistent, the people don't even care about the editing, like how cool you edit it. They care about your personality and like your content. Gotcha. So I'm, that's why I'm, try, I'm not trying to box myself and just drill box so I can just spread out my uh, audience to so come to my, for my personal, like, for my personality instead of my dress. Gotcha. Do you take, um, like, I know people in comments, like, on certain YouTuber pages, like, they'll throw mm -hmm. out ideas, like, oh, you should do a video. Yeah. Or you do that? Yes, I do. Especially okay. when they request, like, they requested my dress to be blue, to be honest with you. Ah. Uh -huh. and, and so I kind of give them... It has like over 30,000 views. <laughs> when you give them what they want, you, you know, they, <laughs> they kind of respond back. That's pretty dope. Yeah. And now they, they don't want any different color yet, but they always be like, are you going to get a retwist? And some of them do like the Afro dress, like being Afro on the bottom mm -hmm. and the dress on top. It was really mad at first when I retwisted back then because I had a whole Afro on the bottom. And so what were you doing, free forming? Basically, yeah. That's what I want to do, but then sometimes I go back to fighting myself, like, nah, I want to retwist my hair this yeah. time. For like, like, I don't know, I love retwist, I feel like, after I it's done, after it's done. I don't like seeing my scalp. You don't like seeing your scalp, see? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of the same way, too, because I'm insecure about it. Like, my locks, I don't even have parts, like, mine are just whatever it is, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I made sure my parts were pretty good, to be honest with you, when I started in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I squared them out. Uh, I, and I did like a coil twist and then uh, later on uh, he was like okay I can lock it up because I wanted 
right before my birthday. My birthday was December 27th. And so he did it the day before that. And yeah, it blew up. When I tell you it blew up on YouTube, it did. So I was like, a lot of people are messing with my dreads. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to just capitalize off of it, you know? All right. Start building my fans and stuff like that. And a lot of people been always requested for me to have dread channel. I was like, okay, I'll go do one for myself. So you were on his channel and then you decided to do your own? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I helped him out with a, a bunch of videos, different videos actually. Because I used to do like two strand twists and I used to get it braided and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it was it was popular back then especially. I don't know if it is right now like doing a braid. Like for some reason, like whenever you do like a rapper type of braid and you say like for example Travis Scott, you say Travis Scott type of braid and people just flood in in your... <laughs> views to watch like how it was done and everything especially the mjg's that's what i do on my husband you might get a lot of people they think i'm like who the hell is that <laughs> you say mjg mm -hmm. who's that from eight ball mjg the uh he a rapper oh okay I'm OG. Gonna, all right i'm gonna show I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look him up that and the pop smoke even though for mm -hmm. our generation those are exhibit braids but you know right right everybody said it's pop smoke okay so you already have video ideas man <laughs> Gotta get a people what they want. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm, I brought actually the jewelry that I'm talking about, like selling soon. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna where put it at. It's like um, one of those um, gold ones, but the, the only thing I hate about these type of jewelry is that they fade out. Oh yeah, over time. I want to go gold, but uh, I'm about to start selling these, and they loved it because. It was a cross on it, mm -hmm. and uh, you can't really get this on Amazon because I, I had to find like an actual wholesaler to get it. I kind of asked them like if they really wanted it. And about like 20 30 people commented, like, Yeah, we will buy it. Somebody said, I'll buy it for even 20 dollars, bro. <laughs> I'm not like, gonna rip you off, but uh, I'm gonna have them soon. So the shipment came in yesterday. Oh, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Do you wear hair jewelry a lot? And like, I actually started doing it recently okay. just for the feel of it, and people loved it. Like I uploaded one of the, the biggest, actually, let me show you. One of the biggest hitters that I had on uh, on my Instagram is, like, that caught eyes, is my jewelry uh, dress, actually. Let me show you. And actually, I was going to uh, give you a tip on the Instagram. If you uh, find the best, um, I'm going to call it the best hashtags, I guess, mm -hmm. you, you can get a lot more uh, people. All right, guys, she just got done. I look so different. <laughs> See, I, I I do like the afro more than this, but this looks this looks nice, especially once she's done with uh, uh with the color with the what is it called with the style that she's doing. What is what did you call it? Barrel rolls. Barrel rolls. Okay, I've done that before, but I didn't call them that. I just called them braids. So that's the actual way of saying it, barrel rolls, and uh, that's what she's gonna give me. I'm gonna put I'm gonna just go in the dryer right now so that uh I can dry this off, guys. She was very fast. That was like what thirty minute. Mm -hmm. Jesus.
It's like a 40, 40 minute, yeah, to drive back. Dang, yeah, you gotta shout out yourself. Just so everybody knows, I am Tamber alone. Everybody knows me in Arizona as Locked by Tamber or Locked in Love. I'm located at Salon Boutique here in Mesa Riverview. I do locks, braids as well, but mostly I'm a loctician. I also have my own products. My number one thing as far as locks goes, do not over twist and make sure you stay moisturized. We are in the sun, so please make sure that you're not walking around with a dry scalp. You don't have to retwist too often, but please separate your hair. <laughs> She's um, talking to me, guys. <laughs> look, talking to you because we had to yank yeah, some of that apart. I felt that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's She's Locked in Love, L O C D N L O V E. And then my business page, where you can also book at, is Locked, Locked in Love LLC on Facebook. Or if you look up the hashtag Locked by Timber, you're going to see a million photos by me. Yes, thank you. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate the money. You yeah, no problem. Uh, hopefully, I come back more often, okay? We got to see if they like it. They're going to say, I'm going to get my YouTube done. <laughs> there you go. Next time I see you, better get your YouTube done. I Thanks am. I'm going to get it together. I got to get a camera when we get back and uh -huh. then be able to start doing what you're doing. Hey, if y'all come out here, man, get, get her products, man. Like, she got products that she makes herself. Yes. Like, this is amazing. I have never done this before, so she literally knows her stuff. So this is the best place to come to. And she's open during this time. Yes. And she got masks. She gave me masks, by the way, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, let's see. She hooked it up. Some of them she left out, I believe, for me to cut because it's not part of the drill locks. And of course, I'm gonna take this off too, right here. Oh. Guys, I look very different. Yeah, I seen the before. This is what I look like with a short hair. With the beard, I think I look good even if I put my dreads. If I get like waves. Yeah, I look goofy. I'm never getting waves, man. No cap. I ain't getting no waves ever. But this is it for the locks today. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, man. But actually, my hair was dripping because of my blue dreadlocks and I didn't want to get it on the seat so I put my hair like this ah, I'm scared. you can you can I'm scared are you scared I don't know you think I'm gonna look weird yeah huh yeah how weird do you think I'm gonna look I don't know you ever seen me what did you do to it you ever seen me with a retwist uh yeah like a really good retwist uh-huh I cut my hair actually you mean I cut my hair completely. What? Where's your hair at? <laughs> I told you I cut I my hair. I see a dread hanging you out. You cannot so you see can't... my dread in the back because there's no dread. I, I cut my dreads. What do I look like? It looks like you got a lot on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> can I see your hair? I got my hair cut. There's no hair can to I see. see it? Please stop. You're making me go crazy. Huh? Please just. I'm making you look crazy? Go crazy. Looks nice. Let me see. You're looking at the camera. I can't even uh -huh. see it. What is that? It's called barrel. <laughs> it looks cool. Do you like it or do I look weird? I don't like it. I like mean, the Afro dread, huh? Yeah. I mean, like it. It looks oh, like so a bad. cool. It looks like a cool design. Mhm. Mm but I don't like how it looks on you. It looks like you have a small head now. Yeah, I always had a small head. It's just my hair, my uh... I, I'm gonna get used to it, but um, it's okay. Let me see. Let me put this on here so I can talk to you. Remember when I tell you like short hair don't look good on me? Uh-huh. Like, this is what I mean. Oh, good. I'm glad you look at it. Yeah, see? You look older. You look, look like, you look like a movie star with it. Like an actor? Yeah. What kind of actor? You look famous. Like really famous dude? Yeah, you look famous. You feel like you're dating like a really famous uh -huh. guy? I feel like I'm dating someone who's like really cool and popular. Mm -hmm. Like you're the cool guy in school that all the girls uh, want. <laughs> like you know when you come to school with the new hairstyle and everyone notices? Like I feel like that's you right now. Everybody notices And me. I'm your girlfriend. And we're gonna win prom king and queen. Aww. And everyone loves us. That's nice. Come here. <laughs> that's nice. Thank you.
think if I like in my hair, then I use them. Like I thought you were gonna be like, you look ugly. I mean, I I don't think you look ugly. I think you look handsome. I just think it's different. Like you look different. You 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 look different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> she nervous, huh? Oh. See, go get your hair retwisted, man. Go hit her up so you guys can get the hairstyle that I'm getting right now. Can you put this down? To make your girl. Oh, stay like that? She says she feel nervous. That's my, this is my wife saying that she feel nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife saying she feel nervous. It's just, I like your hair down, that's why. I like, I always like your hair down more than up. Yeah. But it looks nice. You what look you like, think? you like, you're those hot guys that goes like, Oh. <laughs> that everyone wants, you know? That's so tall, dark, and handsome. Oh, uh, God. So I'm not that tall, though. It's okay. You make up for it with handsome. Yeah, guys. I'm like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. I'm 4'11". Yeah, this and, is, a, and a half. This verse family is a very short family. <laughs> you revealed but, the secret. What? <laughs> We're short. I don't care. No one can tell from the videos. I don't care. I'm not insecure about my height. Are you insecure? I'm not insecure. It's just nobody's business. It's nobody's business. Your height. They see your face. They see you every day. If they see you in real life, they like, where you at? <laughs> then you're not gonna be like surprised. But if you already tell them like you're short, they're not gonna be surprised, right, guys? You probably, you guys probably think I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 or Dale Bacon's height, but I'm not. I wish I was that tall. Uh, I wish I was that tall back then, but now. I don't really mind it. I have my beautiful wife, you know, my forever wife. Okay, so I'm not worried. Ooh, I like because now your hair is flat. Oh, your do that, your huh? features pop up more. Like, like my face? I can see your face more. Yeah. What do I look like? You're so handsome. I'm handsome. Yes. Like I can see your eyes better now. I'm handsome. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. She gonna show you guys the 360 because I haven't done that. Wow, it looks so cool. She did this in like 10 minutes. I was like, what in the world? What time did you get there? It was far, right, Mason? Yeah, 4.30. Oh, then go. I got there at 4, actually. Okay. I'm too short. Put your head down. Nice.